Okay, so we're looking at class test one, and we're now going to do question, class is one of 2018, and we're doing question three. Okay. Consider r to the r, the vector space of all functions from r to r, okay, and two of its subsets, those functions that are even, so where f of x equals f of minus x, and those functions that are odd, where f of x equals minus f of minus x. Describe the zero vector in the vector space r to the r. So that'll be the zero function, right? The function that's constantly zero. So let's try that out. Um, f of x equals zero for all x in R. And why is that the zero function? Um, because because for any g from r to r, so any g in this vector space, any function g, g plus f will just equal g, right? Because you'd be adding 0 to every thing. Okay. Um, 3.2. Ah, okay, maybe I can be more detailed there. g plus f will equal g. Why? Because for all x in r, g plus f of x will equal g of x plus f of x, which will equal g of x because f of x is 0. Okay, so now we can do 3.2. Show that E, a set of even functions, is a subspace. So you want to show that, that this E contains a 0 vector and is closed under linear combinations or is closed under addition and scalar multiplication. Okay, so um, so if f of x equals, oops, uh, f of x equals zero for all x in R, um, then what's f of minus x equals zero, which equals f of x. Okay, so that proves that this f is in that vector space. Oh, is in the set of even functions. It's even. Okay. Now you want to take two different functions. So let's take g and h in E. Now they're in E, so that means that g of x equals minus equals sorry equals g of minus x and h of x equals h of minus x. We want to see what g plus h of minus x is. It equals, of course, g of minus x plus h of minus x, uh, but g of minus x is g of x. For the next line. And h of minus x is just h of x. So that's g plus h of x, and so that all proves that g plus h is even. So this thing is closed under addition. Now I want to do multiplication. So they have that we have that g that's in in e. And now we also take a scalar, take um, take a scalar. Uh, reals because this is a set of real functions, real reals. Now we look at alpha g of x of minus x. That's the same as if you go alpha times g of minus x, right? Okay, which then is the same as if you go alpha times g of x because g is because g is even because g is yeah g is in is e, yeah because g is even, which this now is the same as alpha times g, the function times alpha of x, and so all this shows that alpha g is also in E, and that proves that E is a subspace, is a vector space. Okay, now. Let E union O, so the even and odd functions, be the subset of RR that contains all the vectors that elements of E or elements of O. Is this subset a subspace? Provide an argument that shows it is, or a counterpart argument that shows it's not. Okay, it's not going to be because I know that you can make an any function by adding an even function to an odd function. So I know that there are functions that are not even or odd, which are sums of, of an e, a sum of an even and an odd function. So let me look for an example then, counterexample. 
So let me look for an example of an even function. When I add it to an odd function, I get something that's neither even nor odd. So a nice simple odd function would be the function x, and a nice simple even function would be the function 1, and x plus 1, that's neither even nor odd, so it's not in the not in there. Okay, so that's going to be their example. Okay. So if we take, if we call, we say that g of x equals x is clearly an even function. Uh, oh, an odd function, sorry. And h of x equals 1, constantly 1, that's clearly an even function. Okay. But g plus h of x, which equals x plus 1, that's not even and it's not odd. Okay, so that means that it's not closed under vector addition, so it's not a subspace. So, not a subspace. Okay. Yeah. Okay, so that's the end of question three.